Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will demonstrate how to classify and parse documents using pdf.co and Zapier. We provide a link of the full tutorial in the description box below. Come and visit pdf.co for more additional information. We will utilize a sample PDF invoice to classify its category and extract specific data to be sent to a Google Sheet spreadsheet. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by opening your Zapier account and create a Zap. Next search and select the Google Drive app. You can also use other cloud storage services where you want to get the source file. Then choose the new file in folder to trigger when a new file is added to a folder. Now connect your Google Drive account to Zapier. This will allow Zapier to grant access to your Google Drive account. Let's set up the Google Drive configuration. In the Drive field, select My Google Drive as the drive to be used. In the Folder field, enter the specific folder where the source file was stored. After we have set up the trigger, let's test it to retrieve the source file from Google Drive. The test trigger was successful and retrieved the file from Google Drive. Let's add another app to classify the invoice information. In this step, we will add the pdf.co app. And choose the document classifier option to analyze the text content and classify the invoice information. Now to connect your pdf.co account to Zapier, add your API key. You can obtain the API key from your pdf.co dashboard. Let's set up the pdf.co configuration. For the input document URL field, select the web content link from Google Drive. For the custom classification rules field, Establish the precise rules for data extraction to automate the workflow for document processing and guarantee precise and efficient handling of documents. You can use the PDF.co document classifier features to create custom classification rules. After setting up the configuration, test the action for document classification and retrieve the corresponding class value. PDF.co has effectively classified the documents and returned their respective class values. We will now add another app to parse data from PDF invoices. In this step, we will add again the PDF.co app. And choose the document parser option to parse data from the PDF invoice. Let's set up the configuration. In the document URL field, select the web content link from Google Drive. For the template ID field, input the ID of the template you created for the PDF invoice. You can create a template ID in PDF.co document parser template editor. For further information about our PDF.co document parser, please access the link provided in the description box below. Once you've finished setting up the configuration, test the action to extract the parsed data value from the invoice. PDF.co has processed our request and returned the parsed data value from the invoice. Let's proceed to save the parsed data value to Google Sheets spreadsheet. And choose the Create Spreadsheet Row option to create a specific row in a spreadsheet. Now connect your Google Sheets account to Zapier. This will allow Zapier to grant access to your Google Sheets spreadsheets. Let's configure the Google Sheets settings. In the Drive field, enter My Google Drive where the spreadsheet resides. In the Spreadsheet field, enter the name of the spreadsheet where you wish to add the parsed data. In the Worksheet field, specify the name of the worksheet where the parsed data should be added. Lastly map the parsed data values to their respective columns in the worksheet.
After setting up the configuration, test the action to save the parsed data value to the Google Sheet spreadsheet. We successfully saving the parsed data value to Google Sheet spreadsheet. You may now open your Google Sheet account to view the output. Here are the parsed data that we successfully saved to the Google Sheet spreadsheet. To learn more about pdf.co and its features, kindly check out our tutorials available on our website. You may also visit our YouTube channel for more informative contents. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Thank you for watching.